Okay, so I'm Nigar Zahan and I come from Bangladesh and I did my master's in Germany and afterwards I am now working as a project manager for an EU project uh, called SADI under the MKM group in AFMK. Okay, and uh, how did it come that you joined the TU Ilmenau? Is there a reason or a story behind it? And why did you choose uh, Ilmenau uh, specifically? So basically, I did my bachelor in business management uh, from Bangladesh. And then I worked there for, in a the telecom company for a few years. And afterwards, I decided to do my master's uh, in Germany. So I did my master's in uh, social and political economy of uh, European studies, the European countries and the relationship with European countries with international uh, countries. So it was uh, the intra-European as well as the inter-European uh, economic and political situation. So in that master's, we actually studied a lot of cooperation system and uh, how the countries are collaborating for uh, certain projects and border management of European countries. And so after the studies, I was working in an e-commerce company in, in Flensburg. Uh, that's where I did my master's. And then afterwards, I was looking for a job that relates to my studies more. So then I found this project uh, advertised by MKM Group, Tiel Manau. And it was exactly how, what I studied all through my master's and also included things that was, uh, I studied in my bachelor and also what I worked in my whole life, like, like last eight years. And do you like it? <laughs> Yes, absolutely. I absolutely love my group, uh, the team I work with. They're really, really cooperative and very uh, much fun and also very uh, supporting. And also the job I'm doing is, uh, because it's a third party uh, project, so I really don't have anything special to do within the uh, department. It's more like I'm representing to Ilma now. Uh, in the project with uh, other partners and other countries. So we have the opportunity to use the internal resource like the students or uh, some internal um, built, already built softwares or everything. And this is quite fun to be the ambassador of Tilmenau in some third party project. Okay, I, that's nice to hear that you like it. Um, but was there maybe a plan B, like uh, maybe even before you started studying, um, that you wanted to become something else, or do you always wanted to study that? So initially, obviously, everyone has that one wish in childhood, like I want to become something. So that was uh, an astronaut when I was a kid, but then it became something else, something else. But when I understood the, how the world works and how the things are. Then I basically wanted to do something that has an impact in the world that would make an impact in uh, someone's life or someone's uh, like livelihood or something. So I think uh, that was always in my plan. So this project was uh, something that I could be uh, what I was thinking of. Being. So it was more focused for, uh, because we are working on a developing project, it will create opportunities for the project stakeholders. So it's really something interesting for my experience. And also I'm learning a lot. So I've, I never really think of plan B. So this is something goes quite what I was thinking of. Um, you talked about like how your interest uh, interests changed um, through time. Uh, is there currently a particular topic or maybe a research or a study that you're interested in? Yes, uh, so I'm really interested in um, the Internet of Things, like how the uh, industrialized digitalization is changing the whole workforce and the uh, economy of a country. So this is my very uh, focused interest point topics that how uh, the digitalization of things are gonna change the economy of 
each country. Okay, and is there anything that you can still marvel at as a scientist or maybe even beside your topic, um, like a hobby or something that you really like? So basically, I really love traveling, but uh, since we are in a very difficult situation now, so I had to alter my hobbies or things for something else. And now I read a lot and also read different kind of uh topics based on like uh history or something that is innovative or and mm. the other thing is like um, i wa I love watching documentaries so any documentaries about any do interesting topic is one of my things yeah and do you also have maybe a favorite book or even a film or a song or something like that uh, that you really enjoy and you maybe want to share with us I cannot really say that I have one favorite book. So I may have like uh, one favorite book in each genre. So there are so many types of genres in books and songs and everything. So it's really difficult to say like, I really like one singular thing. So I try not to be a uh, fanatic of only one genre. So I think it makes your vision very, very narrow. So I, I try to keep an open mind so I can listen to anything and then I can fix like what is the best in this genre or that. So we talked already about um, like researching. Um, now the other topic, um, teaching. Is there anything maybe while you're teaching that you want to, yeah, like give to the students or that you want to convey them to? So right now I'm not teaching anything to the students because I'm a uh, hundred percent working in this third party project. So right now I'm not uh, doing the teaching in um, now. but if I have the plan in future to do the teaching part as well, I would really uh, focus more on practical experience and practical understanding of things in, uh, as well as like the theoretical part. I think what I noticed while I was studying and also like uh, seeing the other students and other people that there are some lackings of practical knowledge while you're stu studying some topics and subjects. So including and integrating this practical knowledge about uh, some topics. And I think this is very important in, in future. Okay. So maybe also a more personal question, um, are there any goals that you want to reach maybe in kind of a scientific way, but also like, um, yeah, personal goals? So, uh, I really like how I work right now. So it's very, that I can be, I can feel the ownership of the work. So this is very interesting when you're a project manager, you have like thousand things to do, thousand little things, but you feel the ownership of the work, that it's your responsibility. You don't really have, there is always like reporting to the, you know, high level and everything, but it's always, you have to take the whole responsibility. And in future, I would also love to do something that I can take ownership of. And uh, well, even if it's like too much work or too much things and too, too many different things, I really love taking like ownership of everything and just doing things in a sorted way. Then maybe one last question. Um, do you have a special quote or something that you have spontaneously in mind um, that you want to share with us or not? What stays in my mind every single day is one, I don't know who said it, but it goes like this, that what consumes your mind is that controls your life. So I really, really believe that and I, remind myself every single day that uh, sometimes like if you even if you are thinking something negative or something so what consumes your mind <coughs> actually controls your life that's so much true that if you are thinking something negative it will impact your daily life and you will not be able to do something positively and then <coughs> if you know this then you can work on changing the perspective of negative thinking if you enjoyed the video and would like to see more, hit the subscribe button. Follow us on our social media and stay tuned.